thoughts on that one? They obviously not feeling in points, but uh, could have gone either way. Big chance at the end with Milo as well. The game in general, enthralled. <laughs> That's a little bit of sarcasm for me. No, it was, um, it was a great game, I didn't think. I thought there was an awful lot of unforced errors. Um, <coughs> and we're a group of players, I can only talk for myself, who are good footballers, but are making some poor decisions at the moment on the ball. Off the ball, I thought we showed our spirit and their doggedness at times to not more so than by our captain and our goalkeeper, who I thought were excellent today. Um, you know, and you know, I know Brighton have had an awful lot of ball and a lot of shots, but probably 20 of them were from outside the box, which is, which is where you want the opposition shooting from. And when needed, when called upon, we got we had Tim making you know, a couple of good saves and Grant making good blocks, but. Um, we need more quality on the ball and the only way you're going to get that I think is by building the confidence gradually uh, we was on a sequence of losses and we've broke that with sequence today and hopefully we can build on that for next week you know when I was going to ask you that you said on the ball not good enough is, does it come down to confidence because you clearly feel the quality is there in the squad listen uh, I've not had an awful lot of them players for the last two weeks have been on international duty but watching them playing for their international teams top players um, good footballers. Um, unfortunately, they've come back to an environment where we're struggling in the league and we've, we've lost a lot of games. So, um, you know, I think it's going to affect the confidence. Uh, all the work that we've done in, in the week was about, you know, having a bright start, be bright on the ball. Um, but then we've had to make a couple of changes anyway, with, which were enforced with injuries and, um, you know, hence a system change as well. Yeah, and obviously, you know, you don't. I know he missed the penalty, but Sam Barham said what he was doing there is he lost it in the sun or? No, I mean, it looked to me like he was off balance. He looked like he should go a nudge before, um, before the ball came, just as the ball was coming in towards him, and he got a nudge. Uh, and I think anybody will find when you're off balance, your arms do strange things, and that's what it did for him. But you did have chances, uh, one or two chances on the counter there in the last 20 minutes big one for Milo as well. Yeah, when we finally, you know, put some passing moves together, we showed what what could be done and um, you know created a, a 3v2 and a, a good pick out from, from Timu. I think Billy started with the pass for Billy, for um Timu with a great ball and unfortunately, you know, on the back of two goals for his country he, he puts it over the bar. It was a big big chance but you know I can't deny that they've had, you know, a couple of chances well Valman's had the header from the set piece where you know, um, uh, Tim made a really good save. You talked about uh, confidence, but you also talked about chance conversion yesterday, and, and that underlined it again. You know, you, to do anything now between now and the end of the season, you need to take those type of chances. Don't you? Yeah, we do. Um, we know that, and we'll, we'll keep working hard to try and do that. And you know, they're they're a good bunch of players. They work extremely hard every day in training, and um, you know, they don't need to to make mistakes. Um, as I say, belief and confidence are two big words that you have to build up at times. A uh, couple more for me if I can be. Um, obviously, one or two injuries that we didn't know about today, I assume. Just ask you about Rupp and Wajeta. So, Rupp's got a hamstring injury. Um, he picked it up in training uh, a couple of days ago. Um, I think it's not too bad. I think it's my fashion injury. Um, and Shemi went over on his ankle yesterday in training. Um, you had a couple of ankles, John McCracken's got over on his ankles, Josh Sargent's on Tuesday as well. Um, so unfortunately we've had a couple of injuries. But obviously it gives you an opportunity, Johnny Rowe getting another 30 minutes into him and, and because of the injuries maybe two or three of them other younger lads on the bench, just in terms of the bigger picture moving forward, it maybe gives something for those fans to look at and see that there's one or two just pushed him through from the 23. Yeah, no, I'm, listen, I'm, I'm one of them that if there's players not available then we, we get the players from the 23s and move them up, they've got to see that there's a pathway and you know I just love the fact that younger Boo he played minutes last night for the 23s and gets told that he's traveling uh, he needs to get down here today to be on the bench and you know with a polite request he would want a couple of tickets and he needed 14 so <laughs> it just shows what it means to these young players is that 1-4 or 4 right? <laughs> that was 1-4 <laughs> cheers, cheers. cheers it didn't work so hard today for a point but is there a sense that maybe a point's not enough and maybe you're going to have to be a bit more ambitious at some point to close that gap? It's, 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 just, it's not shrinking, is it? Um, I don't know. It might have shrunk today by getting that point. Who knows? I don't know what the other results were like. Um, but you only you can only play as good as you know the opposition allow you to at times. Um, you know, it would have been folly of us to open up and go all out attacking and lose 3-0. And then we haven't got that point. 
Um, so it's a building block for us. We know we're running out of games, um, but we've got to give ourselves, you know, a, a chance to go and win football games. And um, you know, Brighton are a very good possession-based team. We know that, um, but they've been struggling in the goal-scoring department as well. Those ankle injuries, do they look bad or not too bad? Um, Sarge is going to have to stay in the boot, I think, for the next ten days, um, which is because it looked such an innocuous thing that he did. Um, I think Shemi will be booted up for four or five days. Uh, hopefully, we'll have Brandon back for the next game. Um, I don't know about Max Aaron's just yet. Um, you know, it's not been a great week. So. Fair enough. Did the did the diamond do what you wanted it to today? Or? Yeah, I mean. As I said before, Brighton are a good possession-based team and they want to play through teams. And we made sure they went around us. Um, and that made it, I think, hard for them to create you know, big chances in the game. Um, so yes, but I just didn't feel when we had the ball, we opened that diamond up enough to you know, create the space to, to play better football. Just finally, um, you said to me yesterday that you wanted the one thing you wanted from your team was to leave everything out there today. Do you, do you feel like you got that and it was a quality issue or I think I think they left everything out there in terms of efforts um, working hard uh, spirit yeah quality was lacking at times today that's for sure cheers um, you mentioned obviously Josh being at least 10 days before he'd come back um, does that sort of open the door for for Johnny Rowe to he's made nine appearances now off the bench and he's obviously edging closer to to that sort of full day and I guess you obviously see him as a a really important player going forward given so first we've seen him over the last The time. door's always been open for him. Um, you know, players like Johnny, if they, if they do well enough in training, they'll get the opportunity to start a game. I just didn't quite feel, and probably went against my other coaches today, I didn't think that he'd probably have a 90 minute performance in him just yet. Um, my other coaches thought he did, but you know, I just felt that the system change, it probably would suit me a lot and uh, team a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.